Pleasure to see you. Pleasure to see you as well. Greetings from Columbus Circle, here near the Upper West Side in New York City. I had this very ambitious evening planned out where I was going to cover two red carpets. The first is for season two of Dennis Quaid's Crackle series, The Art of More. I feel like because we're in New York, an appropriate first question is, how do you feel about the Astros maybe taking on uh, Brian McCann's contract? <laughs> Well, you know, this is first of thanks for the news. <laughs> By the way, well, I, 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 I've been out of the country for so long. Oh, oh, well, that's the rumor. The rumor is that you guys are looking for a catcher, and we have a couple of them. So. Well, you know, ghost rows. That's all I can ever say. What have you enjoyed the most about doing the show? Uh, you know, I, I, I love working with the cast. We have, I think we have the best cast in television. I really do. It's so much fun to go to work every day. Is it weird playing a billionaire on a show and then watching a billionaire or a legend billionaire get elected like president? It's actually like a parallel universe. How do you feel it's, about it's that? Very, it's fun. It's really funny. By the way, fun fact, Dennis Quaid coined the phrase Ghost Rose, at least according to Wikipedia. So now I am super late and I am walking towards the AMC Lincoln Square where hopefully I'm going to catch the end of the Bad Santa premiere. It's me. Hey, Ralphie from 955 PIJ here in New York City. Oh, How are you? I'm good. And then they sent me a thing saying, you want to come to the premiere? I go, yeah, I want to come to the premiere. I think with this movie and the holiday season in general, especially given like how divided our country is, do you think like we need to look forward to more like movies like this and the holidays and all that stuff? Can this stuff kind of maybe lighten the load of the weight that's on this country right now? Well, that's why I'm here. Yeah. Well, I just went out and I did stand up for two days after the election. And it's like you had to pick people up and kind of go, okay, we're going to be okay, and everything's going to be fine. And then, so I think, yeah, I mean, that's why, I mean, I, I came down here because I wanted to laugh. I've been making people laugh. I, I wanted to sit back and not have to do any work. When you hear that, what do you think? Well, you know, that's one of the things that you can do as, as an entertainer is, I mean, that's why movies were created. Uh, it takes people out of their daily lives and whatever problems they're going, going through. They can uh, disappear into a theater for a couple hours and kind of forget about it, you know, laugh a little. 